Is this going to be the first time you've tuned a guitar? If so, you are who I made this video for. Some screens are best viewed in full screen mode. Use the play pause button for extended viewing of a screen. Use the mute button to stop my narration. The audio play mute button looks like an icon of a speaker. Watch this entire video before tuning your guitar. First tuning alternatives are find a friend who plays guitar or a local music store or guitar teacher. But before you do anything finish this video. You should be able to do this tuning yourself. This is a diagram of a guitar neck. Pictured as if the tuning machines are at the far left end and the guitar is laying on its back. The thinnest string is string one and the thickest string is string six. When you turn the guitar into its playing position for a right-handed player, the thickest string, number six, will be on top. Before you tune your guitar, know this. If you go past the correct pitch, you stand a good chance of breaking the string. A broken string, when you have just unpacked your new guitar, is very inconvenient, at the least. You should avoid this situation. A broken string means that you not only have to tune your guitar, but you also have to replace the string. A broken string could make a loud sound and the ends of the broken string are like two little razor blades. They can draw blood. Don't be scared. Be careful. Turn the tuning machines a little bit at a time. Fresh out of the box, your guitar may require a bunch of small turns to get into tune. Once your guitar is in tune, it may require little or no adjustment to keep it in tune. Assuming that you play and tune daily. The thicker the string is, the less you have to turn a tuning machine. A small turn on string 6, the low E, produces a big change in sound. Beginners who insist on doing their first tuning should use a digital tuner. A digital tuner that shows the octave would be ideal. With such a tuner, the process is greatly simplified and potential problems minimized. You're getting close to taking action. Here are the names of the musical sounds that each string gets tuned to. In other words, the name you want to have shown on a digital tuner for that string. For instance, string 6 is low E. The tuner will display the name of the sound it is hearing. You need to get E displayed on the tuner. If you use a tuner that also shows the octave, the tuner should display E2. Another way of tuning would be by ear. You could match the pitch from a guitar that is already in tune, or match the pitch from a recording, or from a pitch generator. I have provided suggested websites for both methods. Find them in the description field for this video, directly under the share and embed buttons. If you don't like these, you can do a search on the computer or phone. You know what to look for now. Okay, it's time to take action. Watch all or part of the video again, as needed. Decide which method or methods you'll use, then get busy tuning. Think a string is being tuned too high? Loosen the string until the sound is too low, then try tuning the string again. And good luck.